Navy SEALs are one of the most elite and highly trained military units in the world, but even they can't predict what could be waiting around the next corner. Mike Day is a former Navy SEAL who served his country for over 21 years and who survived being shot 27 times while deployed in Iraq. The situation in Iraq was extremely volatile with insurgent attacks on U.S. military personnel and civilian targets. U.S. troops were deployed in large numbers throughout the country with a mission to stabilize the region and bring peace to its people. On the night of April 6, 2007, in Iraq's Anbar province, Mike Day was the lead man of a team comprised of Navy SEALs and Iraqi scouts. His team was on the hunt for a high-value target, which had shot down four U.S. helicopters, killing everyone on board. In order to reach their targets, they had to conduct the operation at nighttime. The team got inserted with helicopters about four kilometers away from the initial target. Shortly after the insertion, they received a heads up from military assets that there were people in the area that knew that they were there. They eventually get to the house with four known insurgents inside. The breach team goes up and enters the house and they arrive to a small 12 by 12 foot room. As the lead, Mike entered first and was followed by two of the Iraqi scouts. The insurgents in the room had been waiting for the team to breach the room. As Mike entered, they immediately began shooting. There was so much gunfire that it knocked Mike's rifle out of his hands. The gunfire hit both of the Iraqi scouts who'd entered the room behind Mike. The first was shot in the chest, sending him back out into the hallway. The second was also hit in the chest and died in the doorway. Mike didn't hesitate and quickly transitioned to his secondary gun and eliminated the insurgent closest to him and landed next to him. The second insurgent in the room pulled the pin out of a grenade and was trying to run out in the hallway to blow up the rest of Mike's team. He also eliminated the second insurgent, but he wasn't able to move away in time and the grenade landed just close enough to knock him unconscious. He was also hit with shrapnel from the blast. Mike regained consciousness after about a minute and saw the two remaining insurgents shooting over top of him at his comrades through the hallway. They thought he was dead. It was two against one, with both insurgents carrying AK-47s. Mike re-engaged the two insurgents with his pistol. The insurgents realized that Mike wasn't dead, and they concentrated their attention back on him. One of the AK rounds hit the bottom of Mike's magazine well, blowing the grips off the pistol and causing a malfunction. He cleared the malfunction and re-engaged the insurgents. Despite the odds, he was able to eliminate both of them and clear the room. That's when he discovered that his fellow Navy SEAL, Joseph Schwedler, had been shot and killed two rooms over from where Mike was knocked out. He got shot through the neck. Mike was able to use Schwedler's radio to save the lives of himself, three more Iraqi scouts, and numerous women and children who were also in the building. As his own had been destroyed, it was his only way of contacting the remainder of his team, who'd withdrawn and called for a fire mission attack on the building. Luckily, Mike's call came just in time to prevent them from destroying the whole building. They returned to finish the mission and clear the house. It wasn't until they'd finished that Mike saw the looks on his teammates' faces and realized he'd been badly injured. Mike had taken 16 gunshot wounds to his body, both legs, arms, abdomen, buttocks, scrotum, and his left thumb was also badly mangled. He was shot 11 times in his body armor, which caused fractured ribs and contusions on his lungs, which to him was more painful than the gunshots that entered flesh. He'd also taken a lot of shrapnel from the grenade the insurgents set off in the room. Despite the extent of his wounds, Mike walked himself to the medevac helicopter. He recalled it wasn't about being a badass, but he was afraid if they picked him up, it would just hurt more. Mike was then flown out to Baghdad where medical teams stabilized him overnight. The next morning, he was flown to Germany for further treatment. He went into cardiac arrest three times during his flight out of Baghdad. He's talked about his experience, concluding on all accounts he shouldn't have survived the events of April 6, 2007. His body armor alone shouldn't have stood up to that level of attack. It was designed to take one bullet at close range, but instead it held up against 11. Mike also said that the key motivation for him to survive was the need to see his children. He said that during the gunfight, Time slowed down and he prayed to God that he'd be able to see his girls again. He said his fear turned into pure anger, which enabled him to overcome the gunshot wounds and fight for his survival. 
Mike Day's story is an inspiration to us all, a testament to the courage and resilience of the human spirit. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.